How do mulled coins take place? Now, let's explore how these errors come to life. The minting process involves precision, but every now and then, the wrong dies are paired, creating a mule. This can occur due to a mix-up in the production line or human error during die setup, leading to a coin that was never meant to be. Are mulled coins valuable? Now, the burning question, are mulled coins valuable? Absolutely. The rarity and uniqueness of these errors make them highly sought after by collectors. Their unconventional nature and the story behind their creation add an extra layer of intrigue. Let's highlight a few standout examples. 2000 P Sacagawea Dollar Slash Washington Quarter Mule, a spectacular mule that features a Sacagawea Dollar obverse paired with a Washington Quarter reverse extremely rare and highly prized by collectors. According to Heritage Auctions, this mule error, which combines a Sacagawea dollars planchet and eagle tails design with a head side that shows George Washington and the legends from the statehood quarter design from 1999 on. A P mint mark represents Philadelphia. While the coin itself is dateless, in 2000, Washington quarters were dated on the reverse and Sacagawea dollars the obverse, the coins were identified and documented in 2000, the first year of Sacagawea dollar production hence the date attribution. This lustrous MS-66 specimen ended up selling for $88,125. 2001 D. Lincoln Cent Mule with a Roosevelt Dime Reverse. The present coin is the second known 2001 D. Cent, Dime Mule. According to Heritage Auctions, the Dime Reverse has a broad rim with three concentric levels. The inner and outer levels are raised, and the middle level is recessed. The wider rim on the reverse is due to the narrower diameter of the Dime Die. On the obverse, trust is faint, as is the first L in Liberty. The Lincoln bust truncation shows incompleteness of strike. These characteristics are also due to the smaller dime die. This MS-65 red gem fetched a sum of $78,000 in 2022. 1999 Lincoln sent obverse mule with Roosevelt dime reverse. This incredible error somehow escaped the scrutiny of mint employees. It is uncertain how a Lincoln Cent obverse die was paired with a Roosevelt dime reverse, but this coin proves that it happened. The obverse is sharply struck on the figure of Lincoln and the date, although the opposing dime die, being slightly smaller than the Cent planchet, caused minor peripheral weakness on the obverse. In other words, nothing was behind the periphery of the Cent die to force the expanding metal into the recesses. Naturally, the slightly smaller reverse dime die caused that side to be boldly struck. It was sold for $138,000. In conclusion, muled coins are like hidden gems waiting to be discovered in the vast world of coin collecting. The accidental pairing of mismatched dies creates a unique narrative, making each muled coin a numismatic treasure. If you found today's exploration of muled coins fascinating, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more coin-related content, and share your thoughts or any muled coins you've come across in the comments below. God's will, see you in the next episode.